hello guys today we are going to see how to manage the sessions in remote desktop service remote desktop service is one of the roles in windows server and it is known as terminal service in older versions of windows uh, like 2008 or uh, 2003 or prior versions so rds will help uh, us to log in or log in multiple users to the to a single server and it has a lot of features a lot of other features which helps uh, other programs to run through RDS so today we are going to see how to manage the sessions in RDS server normally a user will log into the server and he may he may forget to log off from the machine so he might be he might be just closing the sessions in that in such situations the sessions will be running actively on the server and it will consume a lot of resources over there so we want to have a mechanism where we can force the user to log off if if we found the session is ideal so first let's go to the remote desktop service on administrative tools there you will find all the options of remote desktop configuration like remote desktop gateway manager remote desktop licensing manager remote desktop service manager we need to go to the session host configuration so the wizard is opening in rds session host configuration we will see connections so right click on the connection and go to properties the wizard opened so here we have multiple options if you see on the screen we have remote control we have client settings network adapter security we have to go to the network adapter settings To configure the maximum number of users it can log into the server so here we are restricting it to five so only five users will be able to log in now we need to go to the session and to configure the time limit so by checking the checking that box we can override the default settings and configure our own settings Active session limit is eight hours, and the ideal session limit is also eight hours. So after eight hours, if a user is ideal, then the session will log off. Even if the session is active for more than eight hours, it will it will log off. Now the next setting is our red user setting. When session limit is reached or connection is broken, in both the situations. I am choose to disconnect from the session. You can you can you can choose end session also. I play okay. So I'm getting an error message here. It's not an error message. It's a notification. Configuration changes have been made to the system registry. However, the user session now active on the RDP TCP connection will not be changed. Yes. So those users who are already logged into the machine, they need to log off and log in back. Let's go and see on the task manager if there is any user is logged in. I can see only my username, so no problem. So I am log off. I am logging off from the server. Now, if my session is running for more than eight hours, or if my session is ideal for more than eight hours. I will get a message that your user is get going to be logged off because you have already been logged in for eight hours. So now that setting is configured in RDS server. This is how we can manage the uh, the RDS session efficiently. So the server resource will not get wasted, and also we can limit the number of users logging into the RDS server. 
Thank you, everyone.